Hey Jules Plus Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. Happy Friday. <laughs> Come on elementary teacher, middle schooler, I had to get them. Happy Friday y'all. But you know what better than that drum roll please. Better than that. Ah. <sighs> Seven month chip. <laughs> Seven months, people, of completely clean, binge free eating. You heard it here at Jules Plus Vegan. Yay, God, right? Oh, purple. Can't go wrong with purple. <laughs> I am thrilled. I am so thrilled. <sighs> I just have to sit with it a second, people. I've heard from a couple of you and you said that you bought chips for yourself and and I pray that you're celebrating a month at a time, a day at a time, a millisecond at a time, however much you're abstaining, yay you. I mean, for real. And for me, if you are a compulsive overeater, if you know the nightmare of the constant reel running in your head, of never being content no matter what you eat, of in the middle of a meal contemplating your next one, of eating an entire meal only to declare that it was half cooked or didn't taste the way you wanted, I mean, come on, of strategically placing food just perfectly in the trash so it's not actually touching anything so you can go back and get it later. Are you with me? Okay, does anybody understand the nightmare? When I say seven months of clean eating, I mean it. For seven months, I have not faltered. I have not eaten processed nonsense. I have not hidden, lied, um, misused, abused funds. None of it. For seven months, oh, I've been free. <laughs> I am so thrilled. All right. So you're like, Jules, get on with it. How? Pray tell. How? Besides what's on the back of this coin, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Um, so in addition to that, I will tell you my solution was to eat more of God's food eat more of God's food, like for real. Oh my goodness, you know, I am so blessed. And, and it was a huge risk, right? Because I was eating way more calories than I had been. The difference was I was eating high carb, low fat, raw vegan. And when you eat like that, you can eat as much as you want. And you're only supposed to eat till you're satiated, which is fine. And in what I found for those who've been following me, and here's month seven, and I would love to hear from you if you dared to get on the bandwagon, because I know some of you said you were going to, and and I would love to be celebrating you, you know, and, and it's not too late. Start today and let's celebrate you, you know, May 2nd or um, March 2nd. Yeah, that's how off I am. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, I was so sick last time we talked and I am so much better, but I'm not completely better. Uh, you know, I'm still having trouble in my lungs, but not too bad. You know, I'm functioning and I'm rejoicing. I'm really rejoicing. Um, so anyway, the key for me has been eating so much real food. And by that, of course, I mean fruits, vegetables, healthy plant-based fats. So much of it that it just crowds out any opportunity to eat junk. It just crowds it out. Like, it's really funny. You know, a few years ago when I first even learned about vegan, plant-based vegan, raw vegan, even began to learn about it, um, it was all so new to me. And I started on a very low-calorie regimen. And by low-calorie, I mean 1,400 to 1,600 calories. Uh, so I did that, but there was white-knuckling. I was always just thinking, ooh, I... How can I make it till tomorrow? Well, eat another pound of grains. How can I make it through the night? Drink another cup of tea. <laughs> Excuse me. And those are great methods. They really are. And you'll never go wrong with grains or tea. But anybody who knows me knows that I literally had an eight cup, cup. Of a, it's a teacher mug and I know it's somewhere. 
but it literally was 64 ounces because some nights I would have to guzzle 64 ounces just to even be full enough to think about going to sleep. I'd wake up hungry, you know, and just say, too bad, too bad. Well, I will tell you, it is so refreshing to, instead of obsess about how can I minimize my calories and be careful not to overgo the goal and, and oh my goodness, to the total flip side of, did I eat enough today? <laughs> and do I need more? And, and did I get, you know, more than 2,000 calories? Did it, like, what? Huh? <laughs> and it's working. That's the beauty of it. I don't know if you can tell that I look different than I did last month and certainly seven months ago. And I'm so grateful for that. The difference is, though, I don't have any fear. Like, I absolutely know it's coming. It's totally coming. And so one of the people that I tapped into is Freely the Banana Girl, also known as the founder, not the founder, but like really well known for the Frugivore Diet, um, meaning the actual Frugivore Diet, you know, um, how would you say that? <laughs> because... <laughs> Humans are frugivores and we've been eating this way forever. Uh, but anyway, hashtag frugivore diet. The frugivore diet would get you to freely the banana girl. But anyway, um, you know, freely always talked about eating enough, just eating enough and that it would stop the desire to binge. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Like, do you even know what binging is? <laughs> Well, as it turned out, she absolutely knew what binging was, along with purging, along with anorexia, along with bulimiorexia, which I think is when you uh, over-exercise, like the whole gamut. Yeah, yeah, she knew. Now, granted, she only, by the time God caught her, only had 40 pounds to lose. You know, for me, a breath ago, and, and you can tell, because if you go back to any of my videos, Two years ago, two and a half years ago, four years ago, I see them and just go, I want to look like her. <laughs> and praise God, I will look like me. Um, but the difference will be that I will be free, that I will not be scared, that I will not be white knuckling it. I'll be free because now I know that it's okay to have enough calories, you know? And, and that's what the freedom has been. So people say, well, what does your day look like? Well, another uh, thing that Freely has is raw till four. And what it is, is you basically eat raw, right? So go with all those fruits, go with all those veggies, break your breakfast, right? So breaking the fast from the night before with fruit, with um, juicing. Some people do, I don't. Um, I prefer a smoothie and keeping all of the fiber. But using all those fruit calories to energize yourself and get you through your day. And then finally in the evening, if you so choose, because keep going raw if you can, just make sure you get enough. Um, but as the evening comes, um, you may choose a cooked element, right? But it's still whole food plant-based. And so it's not packaged nonsense. It's not chemically laden. It's none of that. It's, it's God's potatoes. It's God's yams. It's God's, you know, maybe rice you might choose, or it might be, um, you know, I, I am a vegetable girl. I don't mind keeping things very simple, especially as I'm finding my way back, you know, to myself. So I often just do a pot full of rice and a whole bunch of veggies. I do a pot full of potatoes or yams and a bunch of veggies. Um, I do pasta with, you know, a marinara sauce. I keep it very simple. I'm kind of one or two ingredients, you know, mostly. And I'm satiated and I, I have no panic or fear that I won't get enough, you know, uh, that I won't, that I'll wake in the night starving like nothing. There's nothing. That's the beauty of it. Did I mention it's been seven months? <laughs> and what a pretty coin this is. It was a great surprise. You know, I bought all of these for myself, for those who are wondering. And I just went in 12-step coins online, and these were only 70 cents. I mean, it doesn't get more fair than that. And I went ahead and got 18 months of coins because I knew I needed that momentum. When I decided I, I am gaining weight hand over fist, I cannot stop obsessing about food. I am in the chemical laden nonsense, vegan or not, right? Because of course, Oreos vegan, Lay's potato chip vegan, like there's junk, um, processed meats, you know, but 
plant-based processed meat. Anyway, all vegan. Well, when I realized that I was losing my mind <laughs> and gaining so much weight and decided that I was going to dare take a month, I, I actually decided to coach with Freely for one month. And I highly recommend it for anybody who is as sick as I was, you know. And I went ahead for a month and said, I can do anything for a month. If it doesn't work, so what? I will abandon myself. I will absolutely say yes. And I will do whatever it is she recommends for a month. And I did. And after a month, I was still a little scared that on my own, I might not make it, right? Um, but I had the foundation. And so basically for me, I write down my food. One method is to pre-write your food, which is really smart because then it's in your head, the intentions there, you can pre-write it. I, because I have a sense of what I'm going to eat, um, I post-write it. I do use Chronometer, which is a free app, which just gives you your macros and macros are protein, fat, carbs. I'm an 80-10-10 girl. So I, and I've read the book 80-10-10. I <clears throat> didn't, couldn't relate to all of it, but I definitely understood the idea of lots of carbs, again, healthy, plant-based, happy, fruit, you know, veggie, high carbs, and then some fat and some protein. Now, as it turned out, fat and protein naturally exist, okay? So carbs, fat, and protein exist in all living foods. And what I found in those seven months, um, because I've literally been recording it every day, is that just in fruit and vegetables without adding any overt fats or anything, it averages anywhere from like five to six percent of natural fat or natural protein. Not all the time, it depends. And this isn't summer, it's winter for us. So it would probably vary greatly if I was just ODing on melons and things like that. But it's just some fat sim protein. If you're into needing fat, Keep it plant-based, of course, and try and keep it at 10%. So if I'm eating 2,400 calories in a day, I could reasonably have 240 calories of fat, right? And like for um, four ounces of, let's say, an avocado, that would be about 180 calories, you know? If it was uh, chia, and chia in itself is not all fat. You know, there's a lot of stuff in chia, but it is 60 calories a tablespoon, the beauty of this is you don't have to do calories. Now, why have I done calories? Because I had to ensure that I was eating enough. Because I do have that diet mentality. I do have the less, less, less um, could get me there. But the truth is my body needed more. And since it's had more, there's changes, right? There's like really positive changes. I've not been weighing myself. But it was refreshing. And, and I have to say, and I've said this before, <laughs> I had no business getting in the clothes that I was wearing, okay? Muffin top is an understatement of the year, okay? It was more like an atomic bomb hanging over the sides. Um, so what it is is that without any side hanging over, <laughs> the reason I'm not wearing smaller pants is because I'm finally fitting into the pants that I had to begin with. I'm finally fitting into my pants, okay? Um, so like, that's one thing. The other thing is, it's been raining and there was a jacket that I had that I couldn't close. I had to just be like, um, I can't remember what I said to them. I, I think I just said, oh, I'm fine or I'm kind of hot. Praise God, if I never mentioned with plant-based eating, there are no hot flashes, okay? zero hot flashes. Like if that's one reason for you to go plant-based vegan, zero hot flashes. And that's been true for years now. Um, but anyway, I, I bluffed and just said, oh no, I don't need to cause I couldn't close it. I couldn't close it. I couldn't snap it. I couldn't zip it. And today it, it's been a little bit. And today uh, we had a rainstorm and yesterday and once coming up and I dared to put that same jacket on and I could zip it. And I could snap all of the snaps. And I was like, oh, thank you, Father. Thank you so much. You know, it was really refreshing uh, because I haven't been getting on the scale, right? Um, I don't have lines like digging into my stomach in the pants that I'm wearing. Would I love to wear a lesser size? Yes. And like any 
good <laughs> overeater. I have every size, right? It's so sad. But I appreciate the walk, you know, because a few years back, I lost the weight. I, I did. I was rocking it. But it wasn't sustainable for me. It just wasn't. I, I couldn't. There was no peace. There was zero peace. So when I fell, I fell hard. And I put on about 85 pounds in a year and a half. Not even kidding you. And that's what I meant about hand over fist. Now, was I in survival mode? For many reasons in my life, I was in survival mode. But other people who are struggling don't choose food, right? I chose food. So yeah, I put on like 85 pounds. And it was devastating. Thank God, God, literally God the Father woke me up. Because I was really on my way to my 600 pound life. I'm not kidding you. And and he woke me up and it's been very hard to have such clarity and to see myself so completely, right? Because I'm just like, oh, how did I do it again? But I honestly believe that this is the last time. And, and I know it's the last time because I finally... I'm satiated. I finally feel safe around food. I finally know that if I eat enough of the right, I have no cravings for the wrong. And of course, I'm a devout vegan. No harm to any animal for my food. Like zero way. Um, so thanks for coming, you guys. Thanks for walking with me for these seven months. And if you're just meeting me for the first time, I'm Jules. I'm blessed and I'm vegan. And I'm more blessed than ever because I have freedom for the first time in my life. I, I have memories, three years old, two and a half years old, um, you know, sneaking food. I didn't need to, but I was already super compulsive, stealing food from the store, out eating people where I babysat to the point of losing jobs, like so many things. Food has been the haunt of my life all my life. And for seven months, I've been able to happily abstain and freely do so. And it doesn't haunt me during my day. Probably like four or five times in seven months. And only because I hadn't eaten enough did I start to wander in my head and go, hmm. <laughs> and only like maybe four or five times in seven months did I eat food in a compulsive way, on plan, within my range, but in just some compulsive way. And I was aware of that, but I'm so grateful for that awareness. And I'm free. Oh, I'm free, people. So yeah, let me help you. Let me support you. Write me notes. I'll do my best by you. And I'm going to stay the course, friends. I don't know what the next color is, but I am loving this purple. <laughs> and I am loving being free. So until we talk again, I encourage you to eat more of the good, to crowd out the bad, and to know that you're blessed. <laughs>